Aloha kakahiaka everyone. Happy Thursday. Happy 11-11. Happy Veterans Day. Hello to all of you out there. You got Aniela here and I'm a coach with the Be With Your Twin Flame program. Happy 11-11 day folks. 11-11. What is 11-11? Well out there it is very highly tied with the twin flame journey, the twin flame story. All of that you see it out there in the internet you see people go oh my gosh 11 11 my twin flame is near my twin flames coming back my twin flame is this my twin flame is that that's what people associate 11 11 with 11 11 is highly associated with the twin flame journey however folks that's your soul speaking to you and if you are here and you are watching this video if you even see the live come on or the video come on through Elle's pages or out on Facebook and in YouTube it is talking to you your soul is speaking to you now 11 11 day in the United States that's Veterans Day happy Veterans Day to all of you but it is also as I mentioned the day that is well known among the twin flame teachers gurus out there and everyone else who actually are on this journey that it is a significant day 11 11 twin flame right there now what I am gonna talk about with you today is something that I know everyone comes to at some point. I I can't remember myself coming to this point except when I was in the very beginning stages of my journey and I was like, no, 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 this is not a twin flame journey. This, there's your doubt. We're talking about doubt, folks, because today is 11-11. And one thing that is very common, if not across the board as a hallmark, is having doubt on this journey. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're watching this, your soul brought you here, and the shit just got real. Doubt, folks, people will tell me a thousand times over, sometimes from the same person, the same student. I don't think that's my twin flame. I don't think that's my twin flame or have any kind of doubt at all come in. I don't think it's gonna fly, Aniela. I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think it's all gonna reconcile itself and be able to have this place where I'm gonna be with the twin flame again. Now folks, that is absolutely common, natural, and a hallmark on this journey. And as my teacher, El Hari told me a long, long time ago, if you have no doubt, <laughs> it is highly likely you are not on a twin flame journey. If you have zero doubt, and the reason for that being is the push-pull energy. That in and of itself will create all the doubt that you ever could possibly think that could come across in your mind. The push-pull energy. Yes, this person's my twin flame. Yes, we're gonna be happy forever after, happily ever after, all that. No, we're not. There's your push-pull right there. Yes, this person might be it. No, they're not. Where are we looking at? At the push-pull, folks. And that is why doubt is coming across the board on every person truly on this journey the push-pull energy is what is significantly different than it is with anything else that you've ever experienced this energy itself is the fear-based energy and if it's not there coming out in the form of doubt and that push-pull in many different ways shapes and forms in the physical and it's highly likely you're not on a twin flame journey. And you know what? It's okay. Does that mean that you're not going to be on one? No. Does that mean you're not on one right now and you don't even recognize it? Absolutely not. All I'm saying is that doubt when I say the shit just got real, that's what you're looking at. Doubt, folks. And when you have doubt, that is absolutely common, normal, and absolutely hallmark on this journey. So the question is, what are you what do you do with that when we're saying no i don't think it's gonna happen no i don't think that's tf we're judging we're judging something something that happened something that took place in the physical because my real tf wouldn't do this my real tf wouldn't do this to me folks as i've said it a thousand times this journey is not about the tf the reason why you are on this journey is about you so it is what it is it is what it is now 
learning all of this, knowing and recognizing when you're going, I don't think that's my twin flame. The shit just got real. Because if you're watching this, it is very, very highly likely you're on, on this journey. And it is very, very highly likely you don't know what to do. <laughs> I mean, why would you be looking out there if you knew exactly what to do? Correct? We all like to think we know what to do. We all like to maneuver and operate like we know what to do. And the truth, folks, is you don't. Because you only go on this journey once in your life. Once in your life. And who is ever prepared for it? Absolutely no one. So when I was finding myself on this journey, it is really, literally boiling it all down to either having to choose that you're going to keep going back and forth and just driving yourself absolutely batshit. No, that's not, oh, okay, it might be. No, that's not, oh, okay, it might be. You're either going to do that or you're going to decide to grab on and learn what you need to learn to make this the best possible thing to ever happen in your life. Folks, that's my story. When I saw L, L Hari was my teacher and mentor. When I saw L having gone through telling her story about what she'd been through and my, my journey being so similar, so similar, and yet here this beautiful woman was trying to teach us all how to get past the pain how to get past the hurt and how to get past the doubt in order to grab onto this and truly make this the best thing to ever happen to us. I saw that and I wanted that. And folks, years ago that happened. And do I have that? Absolutely. Do hundreds of people who have been through this, this program and on this journey with me, with the other coaches, with Elle, do they have that? Absolutely. Now folks, that's where you decide. Am I gonna keep playing on the seesaw, the push pull, the up down, the shit is fake or the shit is real? Am I gonna keep doing that? Or am I gonna look and realize that this is an opportunity to make this truly the best thing to ever happen to me? That's a choice you have and it is a choice, folks. So if that's you and you are totally resonating with what I'm talking about. When I saw L, I wanted that. And folks, when you learn how to do the program, when you learn how to bring your fear-based energy down and out of this journey in order to really see the possibilities of everything your soul wants to give to you up to and including the twin flame, if that is your choice, you wanna go ahead and do that. L had it, I wanted it, I got it. So folks, you just want to look at everything and see, is this going to be a con continual seesaw ride for myself? You get tired. You get absolutely exhausted. Or am I going to grab on everything you see Elle having in that beautiful smile, that beautiful countenance? I wanted that. I didn't want to be on the floor anymore. Is that you? There's a way, folks. Because I'm telling you right now, if you're here, you're watching it. It's no coincidence. The shit just got real. When I say that, what that means is the reality of a matter is now fully felt and underway. The shit just got real. Are you on this journey? Very, very highly likely so. So I'm going to leave you with that. And if you're resonating, you know what to click on down below. Have a wonderful 11-11 day, folks. Happy 11-11 and happy Veterans Day to all of you out there. God bless. Malama Pono and Ahuiho. Bye, everybody.